we got? It is, ooh, it's right at five o'clock. All right, I think it's working. We'll wait. Chandler's supposed to pop on. Get a couple names, get a couple people. How are we all doing, guys? Welcome to Pump, um, Body Pump. 45 minute version tonight, guys. I figured we'd tone it down because it is so gorgeous out. I was gonna do the whole 60 minute version, but way too nice out for that. So, if you're new to joining us, why don't you grab some weights? You might grab a mat if you have one. If you have a step, grab it. Um, hi, Chandler. Happy getting out of bed, baby. Um, what else do we need? Light weights if you have them. Weights if you do have them. I'm so excited. Hold on, I just gotta show you one little thing. So, my husband told me to buy weights. So, in anticipation, look what came, the little ones. Not my whole bar set, but it, that means it's coming. So this was kind of like the appetizer before the main course comes and you ordered like prime rib or something. Yeah, all right, enough about that. So let's get started. Have some water. If you don't have a mat, grab a towel. Um, if you have a hard surface to lay on, you may appreciate that. What else could we use? If you're new to pump, factor in. Night shift, she's ready to train. Um, factor in any notes, comments. I'll be happy to watch them in between the tracks. We're gonna do the same ones we've been doing. And then once we find out if we'll still be continuing like next week, because well, I don't think we'll be back. I'll learn a new track for you guys next week. So with that said, grab your weights, grab your water bottles, Grab your box of wine, anything you have. You don't have a bar, no problem. We can do it dumbbells. I am just going to put the music on. It is 5.02 and we will get started. So if you're using dumbbells, hands right in line with your thighs. If you have a bar, feet underneath your hips. I'm going to turn the music up just a little bit. Ooh, that might be a little too loud, although I like it. All right, if you can't hear me, let me know. You guys know I tend to talk loud. You know it to be good. Body pose set stance. We start with a deadlift. Two, two. Down for two. And up for two. So just hinge forward from your hips. Pull your shoulders up, back, and down. Let's build on this. Wait for it. Two and two. Two and two deadlift. Two and two up right now. Bar travels right up your body. And that's our combo. So your elbows, high and wide. If you're using a double option, elbows still high and wide. Now single tempo deadlift. Upright row. Same combination, just a little bit quicker. Heels grounded into the floor. Keep it going for four more. So squeeze your glutes. Eye gaze, about two feet right on the floor. New move, high pole. So you're coming up on the balls of your feet, squeezing your glutes at the top. A little bit of hang time. One more. Slow dip row. Elbows to the back of the room. Gotta have good eyesight. Hi, Stephanie. Tipping forward. We have two more. Wait in those heels. Trying to make sure I'm in view. Now this move with a little bit of speed. Single tempo row. So those elbows. With the dumbbells, hands and scoop, pull them right past your rib cage. Four more. This is your strength component. So as we get moving heavier with your weights. One more. Slow clean and press. One, two, drive up overhead. Sink it back down. 
standing rise. Okay. One, two. Squeeze your core at the top. Two more. Elbows going wide. Lift your butt back. Hips lead. Now just move the tempo. Clean and press single. Oh, I know it's right. Two your biceps. By your ears. Put your belly button in. Four more. Sink. Quick flip if you use the bar. Right into your body. Last one. Then you can the meat part of your back. Feet outside your hips. Squat. How's that feel? So fight for death. Raise your heels. Chest tall. Heel toe wider. Keep squatting. Heels stay grounded. Hips back and down. One more. Come on, step back, right leg. Lunge. It's a fast transition. I get it. Stay on your railroad tracks. Back knee bends. Or stay on your squat. Step it in. Switch lunge left. So straight down. And straight up. Pull those elbows. Right to the floor. Here you are using the bar. Step it in. Pop that bar up and over. Give me a shoulder roll. Hands wide, deadlift, two, two. You guys feel a little warm yet? Single wide row, knees pull. So your elbows pull high. Directly in line with your shoulders. One more. Hold. All right, you should be good. So guys, hey, Miss Burke, beautiful, how are you? Hello, Miss Ellen. I love that I can see some of the names when they pop up. Um, all right, we have squats. Bar if you're using it, weight if you have some, weight a backpack, dumbbell, body weight is fine. Combo is one squat, one squat with a heel lift, nothing to overthink about. Um, fairly simple track, take a sip of water and we'll get going. And the music isn't loud enough, or if I'm not talking loud enough, pop it in. I'll be happy to add it up. If you have a bar, please pass it on to the meaty part of your back. Feet in mid stance. Squat, two, two. So it's low and controlled. Knees track. We do second and first toe. Hips lead. Raise your core. Weight in your heels. That's all you need to know. First combo. One squat, two squat with a heel raise. So a little compound movement here. Keep it going. Yeah, four more. Up on toes. So you're adding in that triple extension. Pulse it for three. For the calf raise at the top. That's it. Root it in knee height. Keep your chest tall. Very simple choreography. Got to admit. Glenn nailed it out of the park with this one. Bronze to be starting to talk. Hold, heels down, heel toe wider, squat two two. So what I did, for those who don't have a bar or no weight, body weight option. Cross your hands in front of you, collar height, grab the plate, chest tall, don't hinge forward, the butt is back and down. 
three and one. Three, two, bottom of squat, float to top. What do I mean by float? Don't lock your knees at the top. First combo, one squat, you squat with the cap raise. So a little wider. Knees trap with your second and third toe. Pulse it for three with the cap raise. Now wider stance, you can sit a little bit deeper. Four more. Are your thighs, are they at 90? Parallel to the floor. Don't come up on your calves if you don't like it. Now slow it down for four. Calves grounded, slow controlled squat, back up for four. How's that one? Oh yeah, that feels great after motion all day. Hold, heel toe wider, squat, two, two. Now you've seen it. We're just gonna do it one more time. Now this is mind over matter, guys. Continuous. Down, down, up, up. Core tight. Shoulders up, back and down. I tried to wear shorts, didn't work. Three, one, three, two, one, shoot up. Stop knees at the top, fight for depth. Touch your feet if you're squiggling around on the floor. Combo, one squat, one squat with a calf raise. Squat, squat with a calf raise. Now remember that calf raise is truly optional. Pulse it for three with a calf raise. Glutes. You'll be on fire. Hips lead, back and down. Four more. Are you guys feeling anything yet? Should be. Grab your heels, slow. Four, three, two, one. Put the speed bumps on. The mall is about to open. One your hamstring, maybe it is. Hold. No good stores, so yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, bar if you're using it. You have plates for flies. Got them winded. And I didn't even use weight for all that. Um, mat, we have push ups. Sorry. And that's about all you need to know. So have your mat handy, have some plates. Some dumbbells, some water bottles, some wine bottles, something that you can use for your flies when we go into it. First round is with the bar, if you have it. Otherwise, you can use dumbbells. Absolutely. Listen to what I say and do that same thing over again. Um, for hands wide and just mimic the timing for your barbells. Have some water. It is really hot in my sunroom. I thought about doing this outside, but honestly, a customer called me from work and I got a little distracted. I know, TMI. You guys are used to my chats all day. All right, lay down. Grab your bar for using it. Hands outside your shoulders. Feet into the floor. Soften in your elbows. Brace your core. And we have a chest press. Two, two. Down, down, up. And up. So your elbows, they come on at chest height. Drop and hold. Down. Two more. Slow it down for four. Right to that nipple line. Just like you did that squat trial. Brace your core. Pulse it through at the bottom. Press it up. So down. Two. Three. So it's just an inch. One more three pulse. 
Back to the top. Two and two chest press. You guys look amazing. Keep it going. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Why? Because if I can't hear the beat as well, I'm sure you can. Drop and hold. Right down low, guys. Right to that midline. There we go. Again. Drop. Slow. Raise your core. Tuck your chin in. Pulse at three. Now it's just an inch, guys. From the lowest point of your chest press. And I'm up and down an inch. One more. Singles for 12. Now they're full range. Don't fight the fun and rush it. We're just going to do more. Core stability. Come down on the floor or you step if you have it. So many options to think about. One more and hold at the top. Get rid of your bar. Come down. You have push-ups. Hands outside your shoulders. Knees your toes. So push for four. Now pat it to see. Pulse at three. So don't hang your head. Play with your chin. Body goes no lower than their crease in your elbow. For eight. Now remember, guys, you have options. Four points of contact, long spine, squeeze your booty, in, and hold. Up your thighs. Pick your weight. When you have it, lay back down. Same thing. Place down in your midline, open up wide. Stop in your elbows. Two and two. Feels weird staring at body complaints. That hasn't been happening forever. No, it's down for four. Stop in your elbows. Squeeze it tight to the top. Pulse at the bottom of your fly for three. Same pattern as with the bar. Pour that upper body down. No moment. Single flies. Open, close. Now control those plates. They don't touch at the top. Put those elbows close together. Four. Three. Last one. Hold. Do you remember your push-ups? Of course you do. Hands outside your shoulders. Stop bending your elbows. Lean with your chin. Raise your core. Slow push for four. Pulse in three. You guys got this. Have you given yourself one of your toes yet? Singles for eight. Last one. Drop and hold. Nice job. Nice job. All right, we got back. Get your mat out of your way. You can use this with dumbbells. You can use your bar. If you're gonna use your dumbbell option, have them right outside your hips. You can do your rows from here. When you do your clean and press, kind of like a hammer curl, have your biceps face forward, your palms face in between, facing each other. You squat, press, 
sink right back to your hips. So from the side, sink, drive, up, down. Otherwise, grab your bar in a heavier weight. Single row. Yeah, that one came out of nowhere. That's right. You guys know what we've been doing. Tip, pull, make it a triple. So this is your big track. Sink deep in your squats. Combination. One plane of press. One single row. That's it. Three more sets. Tip, belly, knees, and rise. One more. Hold. Bend your knees and put it down. Shake it out. That round, that round was practice, guys. Have you large weight? Yeah, squat presses. When you're ready, we're going right back. Single day bro. Here we go. Knees, pull. Keep your wrists straight. Put your elbows right past your body. And you tip in. 45 degrees. Really like greasing that hip you're fighting the hip. Again, squeeze your glutes. Combination, six times, clean and press. Single row. Keep it going. Clean, press. Take it down, row. I'll give you the barbell option. Sink, weight in your heels, tip, elbows back. Sink a little bit deeper with things pass. Two more. Knees. Last one. You have the bar to right up your body. Hold. Pick up your heaviest weighted option. Feet outside your hips and in stance. Squat press. So no weight on your back. Sink deep. Right to 90, weight in your heels, press that plate, that weighted option, right out in front of you, and if you don't want to press, don't, hold, Woo! same thing, you've seen it, let's do it again, bar, dumbbells, I'll go back to my makeshift bar, why, because it works, single row, 45 degrees. Quiet down your body. Think straight. Make it triple. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Activate that upper back. Combo. Clean your press, and your row. Five more. You guys look amazing. Right up your body. And how do I know that? Because I've had you in class. Brace your core. Let your legs help you. Two more. Two more. So lock your elbows on that press. Last one with the bar, I mean the plate, squat presses. Feet outside your hips, drop and press. Now if that press doesn't work for you, stay here. It's perfectly fine. Your workout, listen to your body. Only you know how you're feeling today. Rack it, boom. Nice one. Great thing about the rest of this release, we have 
nothing that you need to use except for maybe a little bit of weights. So come down a little bit. No matter what you use for options right there, should be a little, heart rate should be up a little bit on that higher end. Why? Because it was a big muscle track. We're gonna switch it out over here now. We're gonna go to lunges. What's great about lunges, we're gonna tone and shape those beautiful legs because no matter what happens, summer is really still coming. So you can use a weight if you'd like and you don't have to, it is always truly optional. Total leg day after being in and out of the truck all day. All right, hold on. We don't wanna go back to the middle. We got gotcha. It's a really good lunge truck. You have a step, by all means, take the rises off underneath it, and you can stand on it. Otherwise, get outside your hips, two squats. Back to step and lunge, right leg. Two squats. Left leg, back to step and lunge. Two you squat, get outside your hips, right, drop, up, in. Two squats. Five and step and lunge. Right leg, triple pulse. Step it in, left leg, triple pulse. So try not to get any taller. And push through that front heel. Chest is tall. 20 degrees on those thighs. Now push that knee 
and that's my leg. Oh, no, but so slightly. That way you can see your big toe. If you low it down. Nice job. Play overhead. Yeah, get that kicker going a little bit. That's my pulse it. Hold. Nice job. No time to breathe. One more track to work. Shoulders. Too lucky. We have mountain climbers. Kind of. They call them a sprinter. You need those two smaller side plates. Lightest weight here for your shoulder work. Your side raises. Your front raises. Shoulders, your smallest muscle group. By now, especially when you've gone through a full pump class, shoulders can be toast. Always think safety. Go on the lighter side first, or the minute you start to feel severe fatigue, drop to weight or body weight. Lighter weights, you guys know what that meant. My cat's coming in, so if he starts walking around, just be hopeful he doesn't have a mouse. So shoulders, you have side raises right at 90. You can see elbow directly underneath my shoulder. Front raise, going to lift forward. Going to make it just a little bit louder. And don't worry, I'll talk. There's not a whole heck of a lot to listen to, so just follow along. Side raise, 2-2. Two, two. Front raise, 2-2. Two, two. Side raise, 2-2. Two, two. Elbows at 90, right at your ribs. Long arms, the high the shoulder height. So up, up. From the front, long arms. Nice job. Hunk it down. Two high pulls. Tip and pull. Rear delts. That's your combo. Up. Up. Tip. Keep it going. So, elbows. Soft bend. Slow side raise, slow for four. Put the brakes on. So a light grip on your plates, on your dumbbells. Remember, no weight is perfectly fine. Back to that combo. High pull, rear fly. So tip, bend. I she love this move. Turn the balls of your feet. Whoop. Whoop. Tip. Twist and never go higher. Bend your shoulders. Side raise. Slow. Slow. Elbows at 90. Light grip, guys. We got this. Hold. Come down to the floor. We have push ups again. Hands outside your shoulders, knees and toes, knees underneath your hips. Oh, you missed one, you're lucky. Down for two. Hold. Mom climbers, three, two, one, and a hold. Three, two, hold. One, two, three. So float that foot directly in between your soft elbows. Don't hang your head. Close your glutes. Don't forget to breathe, guys. One more. Two, two, push. Hands outside your shoulders. Don't forget your options. You can go to a wall here, too. Belly back hold in. One more. Oh. Oh. We're doing it. All over again. Lighten your weights. Hi, Sarah. Pick them up. High pull. Rear down combo. Down. Open. Again. Slow, slow side raise. Oh, it's like putting those bumps on. 
Knee thumbs. Back to that combo. High pull. We're applied. Three dimensional training here. Off your body. Champ. Open. Two more. Nice and just fine. I guess three feet in front of you. Hold. Final round, guys. Push ups. Yeah, you got it. You've seen it once. We're doing it over again. Your best round. Wait for it. Choo choo push. Hold. Three, two, one, mountain climber. One, two, three. Follow your back foot. Enough, put that grounded. Single push ups. Eight, seven, six. Stop it in the top. Two more. Hold. You're done. Keep some round of applause. It's a big track. One left. One left. We have abs, core, track nine. Lay down. Fingertips at your temples. Not behind your neck. We're going to start with a nice slow choo-choo crunch. And it comes out of the woods. It comes out of nowhere. Which is awesome. Yeah, I'm breathing heavy. Wait till we have to do this real live. We're all talking about it. We are gonna die. Lay down. Bring your tips out. Elbows wide. If you have a crunch, two two. Right here. Just up, up, down, down. Throw your hands across for three. Hopefully, 
you took some time for yourself. And then from here, you're gonna go and enjoy this gorgeous day. The best cool down after this right now, personally, would be a walk and some ice cream. All right, fingers forward. Take that right arm, bring it back by your hip. Push through your left shoulder and feel that release. Release. Take that opposite hand that was by your hips. Reach it long. Take your on your fingertips and TP them. Your opposite hand by your hips. Get that nice stretch. Forehead resting on your carpet, your mat, your tile. Ah, oh, it's come into nice hard lift. 90 90. Fingertips in front. Take a nice exhale out. Lean forward. Stay high if you need to. Come to your forearms if you need to. Feel that amazing release in that glute. You need it. Especially if you were climbing in and out of a truck all day. Come up. Switch legs. Opposite. 90-90. One knee up on the hip. Then you do on the other side. Chest and shoulders stay square to the front. We haven't heard from the governor that I'm aware of. So, next week, guys. There is another live stream body pump class that we are allowed to use. I will start mixing for you guys. I'll see how much my job will allow me, because yeah, I'm still working through all this. My job will allow me to learn between now and Thursday. We'll definitely mix up the front half, because we've been doing that longer. Slowly come underneath both feet, underneath your hips. Fingertips start at the floor and slowly rise up. Get a nice deep breath. Reach to the top. Reach and tip. Tip to one side. Feel that nice side body stretch. I'm kind of thankful I've been teaching. I kind of feel like I'm getting a little bit of my groove back. Even if it is to a phone. Push it up. It's a truly unique experience. We want you guys to know Hampshire Hills is working really hard. The minute we get go, we are ready. Open up nice and wide, thumbs up. Get a nice release of that bicep. We did a lot of work today, a lot of push-ups. You guys might film this one tomorrow. Any questions, comments, reach out to any one of us. Happy to help. One more deep breath, and I can tell you, from everyone at Hampshire Hills, we miss you, we can't wait to see you, and uh, take care, enjoy the nice weather, this one will go up on, yeah, I think it'll go up, we'll figure it out, have a good one, bye guys.